everyone just a beautiful friendly quick little video that feels good to share only for the pure purpose of awareness but not of negative dwelling but of awareness and that is tests in schools there's many positives about schools many but there's also much more negatives in my opinion for sure about mainstream school and generally they're built to make good little worker bees out of you kind of good little some people even say the word slaves good little slaves who are obedient don't question authority do what they're told they even have to ask and they go to the toilet and often sometimes even get refused so but in terms of tests and again school isn't all bad there's many positives but um, here's a little negative i want to share with you just for a little bit tests make ch students live in far more anxiety and fear and adrenaline fight or flight mode than they really should have to living living life being the divine being that they are they should be respected supported loved treated with grace and dignity and integrity and i feel this isn't the case in mainstream schools and anywhere in life too but especially schools that hones in on it especially ones that you can't even like choose what clothes you have to wear it's like that that likens only prisons where you have to wear the same clothes it subdues individual unique expression of the personality and their overall preferences in life in terms of colors and clothing itself but tests tests help you become afraid worried fearful of not being good enough of being rejected of being criticized of being left out of not passing not meeting standards basically being feeling like you're you're lacking or not good enough and um, that you're going to get punished or bullied or it's basically it's a traumatizing experience and it makes it sets you up to always like have some sort of terror overhead above you better than you telling you what to do and judging you as if as if you're not good enough all by yourself in your divine magnificence but someone that has the right to judge you or decline you reject you tell you how good or bad you are and and then of course there's like the peer pressure and the competition factor and then you encourage your own thoughts because school doesn't mainstream school doesn't teach about your thoughts and a whole lot of holistic spiritual topics that are essential for life a life of happiness and peace and prosperity at multiple levels including financial so then you're left to like have a battle and a trouble with your own thoughts about how good or bad you're doing or how, how good or bad you are how clever intelligent you are or are not and it also school doesn't teach also there's many other forms of intelligence the highest intelligence is being able to think for yourself and have to be a free thinker a free mind instead of a drone or a slave following the crowd being afraid of the, the peer group not being willing and able to stand out just copying just being a worker you know now i respect a lot of people who work but to, to be stuck into that system and not really realize you're stuck there or you were made to be like that and then not to be able to like live much more like financial freedom and more time on your hands that's like not 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 that my my not, that's not really the best form of living like unless you like it and you don't mind it that's okay but for a lot of people it's very stressful and hard to be like a full-time worker all their life they don't have enough time for their family their friends their creative projects their physical health business creative um, ideas and um, sovereignty and freedom of financially you don't get paid enough as well You're giving away too many hours of your life like that's your life time is your life currency that's what you can do when you're alive you have time and if you're always busy doing something for somebody else in your time that's not like there's an issue there we want to question so the system is made and rigged to be this way it's made by the old world order the reptilians the bankers the illuminati the big pharma big agra agriculture the oil companies etc so i just feel so deeply and much for children i love children i'm a daddy i have children i care so much I love and appreciate it. I see other children and recognize the divinity in humans, in, in adults, in, in children, in animals, in plants, even the discern divinity in like the mineral kingdom. But anyway, that's not exactly the point of this video. The point is like deep respect, care, and dignity and integrity. Caring for children. You want children to grow up big, strong, powerful, confident, being the leader of their own autonomous life not like subdued slaves afraid of other people telling you what to do and then you give out a rejected or like cast aside or told you're dumb or stupid there's loads of forms of intelligence as i was getting to there's there's not just academic like rehashing regurgitating like stuff that's forced into your head like like um information like by geography history a lot of history is even purely faked written by the bankers anyway um who control and dictate the whole financial system to their favor like 99% of the people have 1% of the 
99% or less of the money and 1% have more than 99%. That's like, that's outrageous. But anyway, I'm not angry and upset, but it is outrageous. It's crazy, it's silly, it's not fair. Um, love and appreciate various things about school. There's many positives, but there's also other things like unschooling, homeschooling, and then like there's democratic schools, there's there's Montessori, there's Romeo, Rosie or Amelia or something like that. There's the Waldorf and Steiner schools. There's all sorts. Some of them are like more costs are privately owned and funded and some of them are publicly funded by partially funded and aided by the government which is really good and then there's other schools like the democratic which sometimes have sliding scales depending on the income which is phenomenal so yeah i have no agenda in this film in this I'm not trying to tell you what to do i'm not trying to steer your my, your thought of what to do you're a free being i respect that you make your decisions there's many positive and negatives about everything parents have the most critical role depending no matter what children are doing but we want to build the child and we build Build up adults, your family, everybody. Uplift, not disempower or take down. So yeah, there's emotional, just before I go, I gotta go a second. There's emotional intelligence, which I feel is probably the most important, apart from being able to think for yourself. Both of them are the most important. Emotional, interrational intelligence. Then there's also the intelligent part of your brain is like really good with like, you know, like physical hands, like, you know, like, um, like labor work, like woodwork, metal work, construction work, building houses, building fences, um, working on the land, like building, making a garden, building fences, repair, like electrician, plumbing, like building homes, um, working with the land, like I said, and maybe massage and like stone work, metal work. I don't know. There's tons of, there's just, just that. It's not just academic. We shouldn't be just judging one alone only as if that's the be all end all to the neglect or omission of, of the others. So anyway, loads of love. I hope this video helped. Loads of love. My name is Ong Fox from Ireland. It's a pleasure to connect with you and share. And if you want to connect me with social media or Facebook or Instagram or Odyssey, just please feel welcome to befriend me and I'd love to hear from you. So to connect, collaborate, do work together, inter interviews, chats, this time the other. Working together, let's support and uplift each other and make it help make a better like life for everybody on earth. Yeah, where peace, love, happiness, wisdom and intelligence prevails. Loads of love. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.